Good afternoon, everybody. Um, well, I'm going to discuss a really quick topic today, uh, probably one of the most overlooked thing, things in fitness that I wanted to uh, talk to you about really quickly. I'm going to take you behind the scenes really quick, show you about it in the dot fit system, but I want to talk to you today about fiber. Now, uh, fiber is something that you know you hear a lot about that you're supposed to take in, you're supposed to consume enough fiber, but it's really overlooked in the importance of health, fitness. We know about health, but the roles in fitness and why it is so important. I will never say that the type of carbohydrates that you take in is not important. What I will say though, however, is as you follow Jennifer and I in our journey, the major thing that we do is we are a little bit loose in our carbohydrates, but we watch the amount of fiber that we're taking in, making sure that we're taking in a lot of fiber. And because what it does, let's cover the points on what fiber does really quick. Obviously the health benefits and what fiber does, we don't even need to talk about you know, the, the different things with colon, uh, you know, the possible health benefits and, and reducing the risk of colon cancer and all different types of things that it does health-wise. But from a nutrition and fitness standpoint, it provides more bulk to your diet. It's, so it's going to increase your rate, risk of satiety. It's going it, to um, make it not feel as empty or your body process things as quickly because um, it, it does delay the emptying of the stomach, which is going to produce a greater level, uh, which is going to give you more bulk in your diet, which is you know really, really important. You know The digestibility issues are really important too because it obviously regulates you. You get regular bowels, but it's very good for your digestive health. Um, it, it helps you control your digestion it, in the assimilation of carbohydrates and how quickly your body processes carbohydrates, which of course... It's also going to then affect the absorption of glucose and have positive effects on your blood sugar levels. So the, the main thing that people run into when they're dieting is they get too hungry, too quick. Um, they have um, fluctuations in blood sugar levels, um, and they just don't feel satisfied. And, and having high levels of fiber takes care of that a lot. And these no-carb diets kind of drive me crazy at times because it's impossible to have high fiber and low carbs at the same time. You, you need to take in carbohydrates in order to take in fiber. And fiber, as we mentioned, helps you have satiety, um, you know, more bulk in your diet. You know, it's uh, going to prevent you from getting as hungry as quickly. Um, and if it's improving your digestion, and it's also um, helping, you know, with how your body assimilates and processes carbohydrates and glucose, it's going to help you less hungrier. It's going to make you feel more fulfilled, and it's going to help you tremendously. Um, you know, real quickly, th these numbers will vary a little bit, but a female should have between about 25 to 30 grams of fiber, a male somewhere in the range of about 35, you know, maybe up to 40 grams of fiber uh, per day. Uh, good sources of fiber are fruits. Um, different fruits that are good are, you know, things such as berries, pears, apples, bananas, oranges. There's going to be others that I'm not going to list, but, you know, we're just covering some of the basics right now. Um, of course, grains. There's a lot of fiber in certain grains, such as pastas, um, even rice and breads, using more whole grain or whole wheat varieties that are going to contain a higher portion of fiber than maybe something that may be more refined. Um, bran, oats, popcorn, those are all things that have a good amount of fiber in them. Obviously, legumes, beans, nuts, seeds, all that kind of stuff that are too numerous to list, but that's all very good sources of fiber, and of course certain vegetables such as artichokes, uh, peas, broccoli, uh, sweet corn, believe it or not, tomato paste, potatoes, carrots, uh, and asparagus. Uh, those are all really good things. Let me take you behind the scenes really quick and show you how we actually input fiber and uh, how we adjust it through the dot fit system. Okay, so once again, uh, we go, we're in the back end here, we go to yourvirtualfitness.com, we go to your program, uh, it turns blue once you scroll over the top. You click on that, and I'm already logged in here to the system. Um, and what you do is to, to log in your fiber really quick. First of all, to see the grams of fiber, you go up to the top on these blue buttons right up here uh, below the main menu and click on Detailed View. Now, when you click on Detailed View, um, to the very right-hand side, you're going to see grams of fiber. So as we talked about, you know, roughly 25 grams for females, 35 grams for males. You'll see today if I'm trying to get in about 35 grams, I'm only taking in 6 grams so far. So what I simply do, um, I'm going to go back to um, the summary view. Which So I had um, 
some raisin bran, which is high in fiber. Scroll, <laughs> click and drag that over. I had two servings of that, so I'm going to adjust that. Um, I'm going to click on my food because, as you'll see in a video that we're going to produce here this afternoon, I mixed it with a cup of almond milk, which that is the default, and I mixed it uh, with a scoop of the uh, Dot Fit Way Smooth Vanilla to increase my protein content. I did a half a serving of that, or about 25 grams. And then, uh, this afternoon, I had a um, iced oatmeal uh, dot fit strawberry bar. And in addition to that, I also had a dot stick um, iced lemon vanilla cream bar. Uh, the default is one stick and one bar, so those are good. You see my calories for the day. Now to look at how much fiber is there, I click on the detailed view button, the blue button there, and you'll scroll down and meal by meal you'll see for because of the raisin bran it gave me 14 grams of fiber and each bar gave me three additional grams. So for the day, just those little adjustments, I'm up to 27 grams of fiber if you can see that at the bottom. If you look at my other ratios, my carbs look good, my proteins look good, everything looks good, my fat is moderate and my fiber and fat are equal. That's pretty cool. If you can keep your fiber and fat fairly equal throughout the day, you're doing a great job. And uh, so I have a little bit ways to go. I've got about eight grams of more fiber to get today. I'm probably gonna get in about the 50 grams of fiber range because tonight I'm gonna have a higher carb uh, spaghetti meal to kind of help fuel me for tomorrow's workout. And I'm gonna use a whole grain spaghetti that's gonna have more fiber listed. So I hope that kind of helps show you where you can track your fiber and help keep you accountable to how much fiber you're taking in on a daily basis. Okay, it's as simple as that. So if you're following you know, the guidelines on how much you should be taking in, it's really easy through the DotFit system to track and monitor that. So I hope that kind of helps you out. I hope that helps you understand the importance of fiber and appreciate you joining us today. Have a great day. Yay!